and Dr. Blessin Varghese, Consultant Cardiologist, Wellcare Hospital, Kochi. Today, we are going to discuss about the hypertension, especially in connection with the World Hypertension Day. We know hypertension is the world's most pandemic non-communicable disease. It is the one cause of death which can be attributed to majority of the deaths happening worldwide. You know that the when we think the major causes of death, we always say heart disease or stroke or cancer, but the underlying cause is often hypertension and that's why we call it a silent killer because hypertension will never come out with this it's a, a really dreaded form and it's very difficult to diagnose hypertension with the symptoms because it hardly never ever produces any symptoms the only way to detect hypertension is to measure your blood pressure in a clinic or by using uh, home blood pressure monitoring or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. So basically you have to uh, take your own time and will to uh, diagnose hypertension. And the second thing is, it's a disease actually which stays undetected for a long time. The people who are diagnosed to have hypertension would have been hypertensive for a long time. And they, some people just uh, accidentally get detected, diagnosed as having hypertension. Or the moment they realize they had hypertension is when they had a very major event like a heart attack or a stroke or when they are diagnosed with the kidney disease. So that means actually they have, they have been hypertensive for long periods of time like 10 to 15 years or 20 years. At the end of this long period, they are getting this target organ damage. We call them target organ damage uh, because it's all the organs. You know, blood pressure is nothing but the pressure generated by the pumping of the heart. So this pressure, pressure is what is uh, experienced by each organ of the heart, whether it is heart or kidney or brain. So when it goes above the normal limits, Exactly speaking, the, all these organs are getting damaged. That's why we call it target organ damage. It starts from very early age itself. So you can detect even by doing an MRI uh, of the brain uh, in the very early times of a detected hypertensive patient. So the only way to reduce this uh, damage is to control the hypertension in an adequate way. The second problem with the hypertension is even when it is diagnosed majority of the patients are under treated they just take one medicine for the namesake but the bp remains still high so about regarding the hypertension you have to bring down the bp to the normal range the normal range is uh, like anything less than 140 by 90 millimeter mercury so it can be 130 by 80 or 120 by 70 or 110 by 70 all are normal uh, BP, but you have to bring it down less than 140 by 90. So till that point is reached, you have to increase your number of medications. You have to follow up with your physician or cardiologist regularly and increase your medicines. So you may require three or four medicines to bring your BP back to the normal range. And you have to continue those medicines and uh, check BP regularly at least once in a month. So only 20 to 30 percent of the diagnosed hypertensive patients are well treated, even in the developed countries. So you, so that is the uh, the major catastrophe because you are taking medicine and at the same time you are incurring the damage to your organs. So if you can bring down the BP to the normal range, you are just like a normal tensive patient. Even after uh, 20 or 30 years your kidney won't go into kidney failure, your uh, brain will remain the same, you won't go into dementia or you won't go, you will not get a stroke. So then you need to have some lifestyle modifications as well. So what all lifestyle modifications are recommended for hypertension? You, The first thing is you have to reduce your weight if you are obese. Second is you have to stop smoking and you have to 
cut down on your alcohol intake third is you should have a regular schedule of exercise and the fourth is you should have enough and good amount of sleep so this is all these things and in your diet you should selectively eat more fruits and vegetables rather than cutting down the salt what is more important is to increase the intake of potassium and magnesium in your for that you have to increase your green leafy vegetables and fruits uh, intake at least five servings said that is the recommendation that means actually every time you take a meal you should have a fruit or green leafy vegetables or salad along with the diet so this is the most important dietary modification then you need to have a regular check on other parameters like you need to have check your uh, uh, urine microalbuminuria you need to check your uh, retinopathy all these things will show the whether your bp is adequately controlled then if you are if you uh, when you progress in the hypertensive history you need to see that you are adequately covered with your uh, medicines over the 24 hours period for that you can check your bp in home itself you can do a home monitoring with an electronic bp apparatus or you can do undergo a ambulatory bp monitoring with if you carefully follow all these things you can control your bp very well and you can lead a normal meaningful fruitful life thank you